What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to episode three of the Plamo Therapist podcast. Now, if this is your first time interacting with any of my content, my name is Taz and I run the Plamo Therapist YouTube channel. And I've just recently launched a podcast to show you guys how you can use Gunpla to benefit your mental health and also how you can use psychology to game your Gunpla to get more out of each and every build. If you guys are listening to this episode as it releases, Happy New Year to you all. And today's kit, um, today's topic is going to be talking about why your first kit for 2023 should be the entry grade. Now, doesn't matter what entry grade you pick, but I'm going to talk about why you should pick an entry grade as your first build for 2023. Now, if you're listening to this and it's past 2023 or it's not quite a new year yet for you, I want to talk about why your next kit should be an entry gate kit. Now, before I get into the why of that, and before I get into the reasoning behind it, I want to talk about what you should do, get right into that, and then we'll get into the reasons why behind it. So let's get right into the what. What should you do with your entry grade kit? Well, whatever you decide, whether it be the strike, the new, the granddaddy, whatever one you pick, what I want you to do is I want you to take that kit and I want you to do everything that you're comfortable with. If you are a painter, I want you to paint it up however you like. If you are just snap building, go ahead and snap build it to the best of your abilities. But what I want you to do is once you finish all the other things that you're comfortable with, or once you've decided on what you're going to do with these entry grade kits, I want you to pick one skill that you want to try out on this kit. Doesn't matter what it is. It can be something as simple as cleaning up nubs better. It can be something as simple as adding some uh, panel lines to your kit if you want, whether you are adding just using a Gundam marker or you're trying to scribe your own new lines. I want you to pick one skill that you want to develop in this new year for 2023 or something that you want to work for over time to get you into something that you maybe feel like you're not ready for or maybe a skill that you want to try to improve on. And what I want to do is I want to use this kit as your baseline for when you get started on that project. Now, if you get if you get your ideas for what you want to do with it and you're ready to go, once you go ahead and build that kit, you do the things that you want to do with it, whether you paint it, panel line it, um, scribe some details, even add some plot, plate, whatever you decide to do, I want you to take a picture of that. And I want you to put a date on that whenever that was. And I want you to take 12 months out from that time and write the date that that's going to be. So if you're listening to this uh, late January, you can get it done by the end of December. Or if it's any time during the middle of the year, I want you to count out 12 months. So if you're doing it, in a July, then I want you to count out till June so that you can look at 12 months of progression for this kit. So at the end of 2023 or at the end of the 12 months, what I want you to do is I want you to take that same entry grade, exact same one now, The if you choose the granddaddy or the strike or the new, I want you to take the exact same entry grade and I want you to do exactly the exact same things that you did, that you did for the first one. I want you to do that for the end of your 12 month period. So end of 2023, end of the 12 month period, I want you to do exactly the same things. If you decide, do you want to pick panel lining for me? I'm going to practice scribing more. I want to get better at scribing in this 2023 year. So I'm going to take the entry grade. I'm going to do what I can, maybe practice a couple of scribe lines, some, something that I'm not quite familiar with, but something that I definitely want to get better for in the next 12 months. So I'll pick scribing for my own ideas. If you want to do the same thing as yourself, that's perfectly fine. Remember, we don't need to worry about what other people are doing. Just focus on what you want to get better at. And so the reason we want to do this is because when we build this initial entry grade, this is going to be our foundation for the start of our year. This is going to show us at this point in time, this is our current capabilities. And if it's absolutely terrible, perfect, even better. That means you only have so much more room to grow. If you're already good at something, maybe pick a way how you can improve on that. Let's say you're already comfortable scribing. Maybe you want to try to practice adding different depths, maybe work on different widths of your lines, maybe even adding a little bit of detail in that or adding some plot plate on top of that to give more of a depth to your builds. Whatever you do, I want you to take what you are doing at the beginning of the year and apply it at the end of the 12 months. And the reason we're going to do that is we want to use that final kit as our comparison for growth. Because when it comes to this hobby, the only fair comparison you can make is to a previous version of yourself. This is going to be your growth metric. This is going to show you how far you've come in this hobby. A lot of the times we forget about the kits that we've already built. We move on and we only focus on the kit that's in front of us. And we don't always go back to the kits that we've done before. We don't always go back a year and look at what the kits were back then. We don't know where we were back then. And so when we're looking at the kit in front of us, it's hard to tell what kind of progress we made. So I want you to take this opportunity 
to give yourself that standard, that baseline to follow so that when you decide to build that entry grade for the new year, you can already know what you want to get better at. You already have a baseline of where you are. And then at the end of the 12 months, you can see how far you've come. Because ultimately in this hobby, we just want to get better. We want to enjoy ourselves. If we push ourselves to learn something new, we'll have just that much more fun adding those to different projects that we end up doing. So take the time, pick a skill you want to get better at, incorporate it into your first build of 2023 or the first build of whatever you're going to do as your next project, and then come back at the end of the year or at the end of the 12 months, redo it and you can see how far you've really come. And I guarantee you, you'll be amazed. If you put due diligence in, you are gonna be amazed how far you came out. Whatever you put into this is what you're gonna get out of it. So if you, you know, if you come back at the end of the 12 months and you haven't made any progress, hey, that's okay. You didn't focus on that. Maybe you focus on something else. And maybe that will show itself up in that kit that you do at the end of the 12 months. That's perfectly fine too. It's okay if our goals shift. It's okay if what we want to get better at shifts, you know, I may start out with scribing for the beginning of the year, but maybe I come back and I want to decide, you know what? I really want to work on um, cleaning up my panel lines better, getting rid of those seam lines and making my own lines to make my kits look cleaner. Whatever you decide to do, that's perfectly fine. This is your hobby. Own it. Do what you love. Do what makes you happy with your kits. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter what you do as long as you're happy doing it. So... Reasons why you should start with a, your 2023 year out with an entry grade. We're going to use that as a baseline of comparison for our skills. We're going to give ourselves a baseline for what sort of skill we want to develop in 2023. So at the end of the year, at the end of the 12 months, we can see how far we've really come in this hobby that we really love. Again, if you don't make any progress, that's okay. Just means you get to try again another year. No matter what you do, do it as long as you're happy. I know it's kind of a quick episode today because we're getting ready for the new year, but I just want to say thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you found some value in this video. And remember, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next one.